Hi. I'd like to kind of look at the future of Wi-Fi and what we've been calling as Wi-Fi 7. Of course, not officially branded. Uh, 802.11 BE, uh, upcoming standard. A very interesting feature called multi-link about which uh, some articles have appeared. I just want to give a brief glimpse to kindle all our uh, curiosities. My name is uh, Srikant and I'm with NanoCell Networks. Okay, so this is, uh, as I said, a futuristic feature, but we do have some challenges from today's product scenario, which makes this relevant. Remember that uh, with the six gigahertz looming on the horizon, uh, we could have a future generation product, which could uh, have multiple such bands, 2.4, 5 gig and 6 gig, and already Today, most of the APs can operate simultaneous networks on 2.4 and 5, and we expect that that would get extended to 6 gigahertz. What about the station side? Many stations of today also support 2.4 and 5 gig. Some of them do allow simultaneous operation. Some of them allow only one of them to operate at any given time. Okay. So in either case, and tomorrow remember that we're going to get six gigahertz. The idea is that uh, though this AP might have multiple radio capability and the client might have multiple radio capabilities, we still see them band by band. So this AP and this uh, client would do all the steps necessary for uh, association, secure connections, etc. on 2.4 and literally repeat that when they have to transfer this to 5 gigahertz. Okay. And tomorrow this would continue if there was 6 gigahertz introduced. So in a certain sense, though these products are capable of multiple band operation, uh, they see those multiple bands as literally being distinct and one has to really do things literally from the start on those separate bands. So we have had challenges, for example, in pushing client, let's say from a 2.4 to 5 gigahertz, this band steering problem, okay? And tomorrow we are looking at ways of using these resources by possibly even combining some of these bands, okay? So this is the genesis for multi-link. How can we use the multiple bands together between, let's say, an AP and a client? Remember, they need not be symmetric, etc. And how to steer, aggregate, and uh, you know, use a lot of uh, you know features of the new spectrum for low latency, etc. Let's see some thoughts on this. Let's see the steering case now. Uh, remember that now our AP with potentially multiple band support is now called as a multi-AP logical entity. Similarly, our client with multiple band support need not be symmetric, called this. And the ability to steer, remember, without having to do everything all over again. This is the key. So the capabilities of both sides on this multi-band support is understood. And one could move quickly between these without having to do all the steps separately. Okay. So remember the context is between this and this. Okay. And this could be used for a variety of things. It could be as simple as band steering. It could be for pushing some low latency applications on a clean 6 gigahertz. As I said, more to come. Let's see the other feature that I was talking about. So in the steering case, we saw how we could use one of them potentially and how we could move fast, um, literally having the context stored and basically just having to maybe quickly change over. Now we have another interesting possibility where in certain cases we want to combine all these resources. Maybe there's a burst of data which we want to get at very high speed across to the other side and instead of necessarily relying on one, we could use multiple of them. Maybe we want high reliability for some data, so we want to send it 
in parallel on all the links so that we can get more reliability whatever might be the use case we now have the ability to use multiple links between an ap and a non ap logical entity and remember the whole process happens without having to repeat all the management and other steps and so this makes it very efficient use of multiple radios whether you use it for steering whether you use it for aggregation whether you meet to use it for meeting low latency or for reliability or for high bitrate these are all use cases which can get covered so i hope that just gives you a glimpse into the future of wi-fi for more information please do take a look at our website and also if you're interested in more information about wi-fi 6 6e7 we have upcoming courses at the wi-fi now academy so look forward to seeing you there thank you